Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Surviving the Aftermath. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's uh, pick up where we left off last episode. Just uh, trying to get our colony up and uh, uh, going here. And we do have our specialist ready as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and send her back out. Uh, not too worried about the food situation. We're pretty good there. So let's go ahead and scout out the next location here. She'll go scout that out for us. She's a little bit rude. See what she finds. <laughs> there we go. The research spot Science. that we were looking for. It's a museum with 315 science points. So that's, that's where. Dangerous. Yeah, that's where we're gonna head. Uh, the camping site is out of plastics, by the way, guys. Uh, oops, I don't want to do that. So we're gonna go to the, go back to the colony. Uh, so everything's been going pretty well so far, guys. Uh, you know, you know, for a starter here. Is there anything we don't have yet? That we actually need. Uh, I know we don't have the tool shop. shop, but I feel like we're good on tools, and we don't have a lot of carriers right now. Uh, I know that we need to get the sawmill, because yeah, although we're actually doing pretty good on on everything right now, and yeah, we're not doing too bad. Just take a look and see. It doesn't really feel like we need anything. We need those research points, honestly. Yeah. We need At this science. point, yeah, we need science. How are we doing on gathering that up? Yeah, we're still doing pretty good over there. Uh, and still gathering the berries up as well. So, you know, we're just going to go on full full speed here. Full speed ahead. And we can pull her out now. So she can get out there and, and help gather go shit. gather. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, we don't have anybody injured any longer. So, yeah, she'll go out there and help us gather some stuff. I almost want to tell them to stop gathering the berries yeah, up because... Yeah, the berries. Yeah. I mean, it's almost done. We'll let them finish it, I guess. But then we won't assign a new one. Oh, it is done. Oh, or maybe I there's was, two there. There was two berry oh, okay. bushes there. All right, so one of them's been depleted. We'll let them finish that up, and let's go ahead and get those research points, man. There we go. Research. So she was able to carry 200 with her, oh, it looks okay. like. Maybe. I don't know. She doesn't have it in her yet. Maybe she's got to wait? Yeah, I guess we just got to wait here. All right, uh, so let's oh, see how much she gets. Oh, just got them automatically. Oh, she gets them right away. Well, that's cool, so she didn't have to bring it back home. Okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and make use of that then. She probably just told us what she found on the radio. On the radio, yeah. Uh, so we have, uh, we can get the communal eating, which is a cookhouse and logging camp, boost food production in the colony. So the cookhouse creates and distributes nutritious meals, rare from raw food ingredients. Cookhouse is also a gathering place where colonists come to share a warm meal together. Logging camp produces firewood, which cookhouses and some other buildings need to operate. Oh, we're getting complicated here. Mm -hmm. Going into production, we have energy production, which is solar panels and wind turbines. Uh, and this this is probably not a good thing to build right now because we have that event happening. Yeah. So we won't go that way. Uh, we have communal living. Uh, getting people out of the tents and into better housing takes some planning. Tenements, houses, uh, several people within the same cramped up space. And shanties give more space for colonists, but is more costly to build. Both these buildings are still much safer option to tents and emergency shelters and get better protection against radiation. All right, so yeah, good houses, uh, flowers. flowers and stuff. Uh, we have security here, the general storage. Valuable goods deserve a proper place to be stored. A general storage is converted and reinforced shipping container, able to withstand the elements and thieves alike. Oh, hmm, that would be could useful. have some thieving problems later. Stores all resources that can be stored in food storage and warehouses. Okay. And then explore, exploration, we have the bartering, so we can do a trade center to trade for stuff. All right, well, a lot of great options, guys. Yeah. I feel like... Security? I, I feel like... Communal living. Yeah, I feel like communal living or the communal eating, all that requires a lot of stuff, though. So, yeah, you know what? You want to do a communal living, get them better places to live? Sure. It looks like we can actually do two. And does it research on, automatically? Looks like it does. Nice. All I right. Waiting. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to wait, so we can actually get two things. Uh, so if we wanted to do general storage, though we're not really having problems with thieves yet. I guess we you don't want to do have it problems with thieves until, until you, you do. have problems with thieves. Yeah. And then all your shit is gone. It's all gone. Uh, I guess we can do that. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. So we want to go ahead and start getting those built. Let's go regular speed here. And go ahead and start sleeping still. Start well, constructing guess, some is things. Is it nighttime? Is that what it is? I, I, I can't <laughs> even tell. It looks like maybe it's about to be night. That's the way it looks oh, on okay. here. Like the sun's going down. Yeah. Uh, so we have the shanties and the tenements. 
I guess the easiest thing to build right now would be the general storage. Get that going. And it's snazzy. It's huge, too. So we'd want this, like, right here. What do you think, Jinx? Looks good? Yeah, that's good. Put that there. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and have. Do you change the priorities for this? No. No, it doesn't look like it. We can just get rid of it anytime we wanted if we wanted to, them to store it into the general storage. We could get another farm going, but of course that requires a oh, precious worker. But anyway, so let's go and do the house. We do need more workers. We do we need more people, man. I All right, so. Where do you find those on the world map? Or, yeah, or do they just show up in events like the last one did? So we've got the uh, shanty of the tenement. Uh, what's the difference between these two? Shanty so, has three people. And the tenement has eight. It's an improved shelter to give some protection against radiation. is not destroyed as easily as tents. Cost effect to form a housing for several colonists. Some protection against radiation and cat catastrophes. Colonists are... Okay, so they're cramped in this one. So this is essentially the replacement of the tent. Mm -hmm. The tenement is the replacement of the emergency shelter. So we want shanties, basically. And they're much larger okay then damn hmm so can we like delete the building yeah i guess you could how long does it take to salvage i guess we'll find out we'll salvage those and not very long at all okay and then we'll build the shanty where it previously was and then we'll have to so we'll let them build i'm gonna try and make it so we don't have too many colonists that are homeless at a time We'll let them build that one first. Set that up to be a high priority there. Now tailors are working hard making clothes. Yeah, well we have two of them. So what we could do is go ahead and pull one of them. So we can have more workers up there. Take care of some of this stuff that needs to get done. And yeah, it's really planks that we need. We need to get the wood. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and do that, guys. Uh, so let's get the, uh, what is it, resources right here. Yeah, uh, so we can get the sawmill here. And so let's go ahead and do that. And we'll want them back here, I guess. Or we can put them in, well, no, we don't Is want to put Is the forester there. over there? No, he's the forester? Yeah, do we have a forester? No, we don't have a forester. Oh, yet. okay. Yeah, we don't have anybody planting trees or anything like that. So we can build these guys in back here. Um, we can put it right here as well. Although it looks like it wouldn't be able to go there because of that. Or maybe put it down here. Radiation is such a pain in the ass. <laughs> Put it right here, guys. And oh no, Emily, Emily is happened? injured. All right, so we need to get a somebody to help heal her. Okay, let's just fast forward this baby. Isn't Emily the doctor? It's an Did event. She hurt you know what? Herself? I think she is the doctor. You're right. She just hurt herself. So she could go back to the tent. Basically, yeah. We got her all figured out. A group of colonists has gotten curious about a nearby river and want to see what it's like for traveling. They've managed to build a simple raft and are eager to test its floating capabilities and what they'll find alongside the riverbank. Uh, sure. Let's let them go. After being away for most of the day, the group returns with their boat full of various supplies. They stayed afloat most of the time and even came across an abandoned fishing cabin left untouched by the other scavengers. Alright, uh, so we've got eight metal and three parts. Nice. Uh, one thing I would like to say, I really like those events, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, I think those are great. That was one thing I, I kind of felt like uh, Surviving Mars needed a little bit more of. They had some of it. I felt like they didn't have enough of that. Uh, but I think they added more uh, later on that we haven't, you know, we haven't played it in a while, so I can say. But yeah, I really like them. But what I, I think they should do, again, because they are, are still in development. Oh, uh -oh. looks like we have that magnetic storm coming in now, guys. I wonder if that'll result in more people getting sick. Get inside. But what I was saying is what I think they need to do with those events is is actually make you wait to get the results to them and like have the people disappear uh, that yeah. you send. So there's a little bit less of a reason, you know, you, you have to make the choice. If mm -hmm. I send these people to go do this, to go hunting, uh, it's not just injuries that are going to happen. It's going to be, uh, I don't have my workers here for, yeah, for X amount of time. Yeah, a little bit of tension of like, are they going to come back? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's go and get the rest of these resources, guys. So she'll get that for us. It looks like she got it there immediately. Excellent. So I want to go to research something else. Uh, so let's go and take care of that now. The sky's so glowy. So do we know what we want to get next? Ooh. Yeah, we decided we're not doing the energy production just yet. 
Let's wait to do the, the food until we have like some of the, we'll wait to, to spend this. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Oh, I hope that doesn't hit Get anybody. Get out of there. Oh, ah. shit. It doesn't do damage. <laughs> oh, man. So. The health is fine. Unless it didn't hit right I on it. I think maybe if it wasn't like. Something that had electrical stuff. Yeah, then that would be an issue. Oh, wow. I hope that doesn't hit anybody. Maybe these people should go inside. Do we not have a button? I mean, to it say? doesn't matter. They live in fucking tents. Everybody just go inside. Safe outside as they are. I'm going to kill homes. our corn, man. All right, see, that is a big ass No storm. one is concerned at all. What are you talking about? The happiness <laughs> dropped, actually. I know, but look at them. They're still Fear running around. Fear of death. Working. Negative 154 happiness, Jinx. <laughs> you said nobody's affected. Well, they're some fucking troopers still going about their business. <laughs> I got a job to do. They do it, Jinx. <laughs> All right, so. So, yeah, we still need to get these built here. Either that or we're in Texas. <laughs> Let's speed this up. This doesn't look storm. like Texas. There's too many trees. But, yeah, and hills and mountains <laughs> yeah. and water. <laughs> you won't find this anywhere in Texas. It's too big of a hill for them. I hope the pig gets hit. Oh, cook them. <laughs> yeah, cook there's pig. two piggies up there. Oh, is there? Yeah, I there's one over in the woods, too. What's uh, been depleted? Oh, the berries are depleted. All right, we're not going to set it this up again, pigs. guys. I know it. Oh, the specialist is ready. All right, so I suppose we should just go to one of these ones since we're next to it. Uh, this one that. is a wasteland biome. Uh, I guess you might have, like, some metal. There could be something there, yeah. Let's let's hit this one up first. Let's see what's here. And it is the uh, fiber. Oh, uh, Okay. I suppose we'd have her pick it up, although that would be one of her, her turns, but. She could always pick it up on her way back if she's going to continue. I think you can have, yeah, I mean, there's no real reason to like not take pick it up then, because I think she can have multiple things in her inventory at a time. Mm. But yeah, we don't really need fiber, though. So we're talking about what, you know, using a whole turn up uh -huh. just to get the fiber since she's got to gather it. So probably wouldn't be the best. Uh, use of our time. The storm has cleared. All right, so they are putting stuff in there. Excellent. And the sawmill has been constructed. Fantastic. And it looks like our Charlotte colonist working Jack. is Charlotte. She has moved from making clothes to chopping wood down. And she's already uh, going to take care of the trees that are around here. Maybe uh, which she will have found her calling. We're going to set it right here, guys. I think she'll be better at that than making the clothes. Yeah, maybe. So she's going to take care of those trees. We are going to want to start planting trees. Uh, get a forester. And where should we put it? Like over here somewhere? More workers. Oh. Hold up. Yeah, we just got more people. Uh, three adults and one children. They have, or one child, I should say. Oh, crow is cool. Meat tools and that. And our specialist is crow. And so, oh, that's why we were getting so much research, though, because we had her get the research. Oh, that's she's smart. A scientist. Yeah, the that other, the sense. other one. So she's the sole survivor of three sisters. Crow was thrown into a lonely world as the apocalypse came and swept over their town. She prefers being constantly on the move, exploring, but never forgets to hold a moment of silence for her two sisters in the evening. So she's really good at just exploration. She has more action points. She's also got a higher attack value as well. Well, I mean, yeah, she looks like a badass. And everything else, she's just kind of okay in. All right, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and accept her with her colonists because we need more people. So let's go ahead and get a forester, maybe to build trees right here, right in this area. Yeah. Let's place it like, I don't want to chop any of these trees down because it kind of defeats the purpose here. I don't know, like right here? I know it's kind of far yeah, away. Yeah, be fine. Or just, we could just put it right behind it, too. <laughs> <laughs> just plant them as they're chopped. Mm -hmm. No, we can always move where she plants them. Oh, okay. This doesn't control where she plants gotcha. them. Yeah, I guess that would work. There's also all this territory over here, but we kind of want her to be planting trees next to... And I don't want to chop the trees down by putting her there. Uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. We could just put her here. I'm trying to, like, put her right... Line it up. Yeah, like right next to it. All right, uh, we still need to finish getting these uh, shanties built as well, because uh, yeah, we do have colonists that don't have homes. Let's go ahead and salvage that one, and then build a shanty right there. 
and get Crow on the move. Oh yes, they need Crow to be moving. All right, so good on food. Let's just have her scout this way then. Yeah, we'll have her scout over here. Oh, can she, she has to go around Oh, because this is being blocked, yeah. That's interesting. All right, we'll have her scout right there then. Tools. All right, so we could always use more tools. Sure, because I don't even think we're making tools yet. No, we're not. Yeah, we'll have her, her get that for us then. All right, so our specials are out there. Oh, we have something else over here. Our oh, last shit. hope. A ragged bunch shuffles slowly through the gate, towards the gate. Their clothes are torn and dirty with traces of dry blood. One of them pleads. Her caravan was torn to shreds by effing bandits, and we got no place to go. Could you please help us? We'll give every little bit we have left for some medicine or shelter. So we can uh, welcome the group in and alert the medic, because it seems they're all injured. Just give them medicine instead. Or decline them, period. I don't know. They look shady. <laughs> Bringing them in, Jinx. The group is frankly surprised by your offer. Having little having little words aside from thank you to say, the injured are advised to see the medic immediately. And they brought in six corn, six tools, and four colonists. Okay. Alright, so that puts us up to ten. Is this going to be one of those carriers. games that's like, oh, it's the apocalypse, but everyone's nice? I don't think so. <laughs> there are events and they were talking about thieves and stuff, so I expect we'll have some problems. <laughs> so she'll scout over here, guys. And ooh, oh, that's a, a bandit, bandit lair. lair. All right, defeat bandits to access the location. I'm fucking with them. Hmm, I wonder if there's any way to make the specialists like better at fighting and stuff, like giving them tools. I you're assume so. You're good at fighting, or you're not. I'm just saying, like, if you give them guns, I mean, if somebody's better with the gun, you know, fighting than than with uh, their hands or knife or whatever. That's what I'm trying to click on. I'm trying to click on this here. See what's left over here. As uh, so we're getting the planks. So let's just move this then. Two of our people are sick. Yeah, those are the ones I think that came in. Oh, yeah, shit. they're irradiated. Uh, so they'll come over here. We can actually put Zombies. two in there. So it's fine. Oh, they just went to work. <laughs> yeah, they need to go over here and get healed, man. Can you tell them to go heal? Maybe not. Like, just go to the, the medical tent, please. Stop. Oh, they're in there now. Oh, okay. Or maybe the medical tent was filled oh, already. Shit. Yeah, it might have been filled already. That's why they can't go. So maybe we should put another medic in there then. Oh, Hannah, the one who was sick. <laughs> oh, is she one of the sick ones? Yeah. Oh, no, that's just another twin. It's, it's Natalie. Oh, got broken knuckles. Okay. So lower health because she likes to punch stuff. She's a hermit. Uh, and a hermit. I'm a hermit too. <laughs> <laughs> She's happy because we haven't gotten any new arrivals, but we do get new she arrivals. She was the new arrival. Oh, though. okay. <laughs> I see. It's like, I'm fine, but no one else needs to come. Mm hmm. All right, so we're going to start getting wood here now. And uh, we have the forester. We're going to have him forest right here. So he'll plant crops there for us, or plant trees, excuse me. We need to get another farmer now. Yeah, we, we got, got a lot, lot more of people. Mouths. Yeah. And we still are producing more than we're consuming, but it doesn't look like it's like, you know, going very fast. So what we'll do is get another farm here, because I wanted farms all in the middle here anyway. Should we put it right next to it here, or should we put it over here? Uh, it'd be off uh, because of that, damn unfortunately. Damn you, medical tent. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. Damn it. What do you think? Put it next to it then? Sure. All right, and this one will be for potatoes, because we need potatoes in our life, guys. Need some French fries. Why can't I see the food? Here we go. Yeah, we have no potatoes in our life. We need some more houses. Get your too. irradiated ass that way from our <laughs> food, man. Oh, are all the shanties different looking? I think there's like two styles of each building. Oh. That it seems it kind of randomizes to. Okay. That's cool. Uh, so, let me just take a look here. What I should have did is I should have left a little bit of room to put a road right here. Oh, uh, yeah. So, what we'll oh. do is we'll do it here. Oh. Hold up. Do what I said. Huh. Oh, okay. I just can't see. Oh, I, did, I gotta hold oh, it. My bad, shit. guys. I'm an idiot. <laughs> that makes sense. 
All right, and then I think we have a road. Oh, that's right. We can rotate the map. I completely forgot we could rotate the map. <laughs> My bad, guys. Fucking buttons, yo. All right, and then we're going to have this go across here. Although we're not going to be able to put much there. I should have made them a little bit farther apart. Woo. We got some activity on the map. Mm, yes. She has eight action points. Oh, it looks like she can move, too. All right, so should we have to go get the tools? It looks like we're kind of good on tools. Yeah. Just keep on scouting. And what did she Take find? Wood. wood. Nice. Uh, it's Aww, in a bandit layer, though. Bandits. All right. Oh, no. Probably not going to be able to take them. I don't know how the combat works. I don't either. Uh, looking at her attack, it's three and her defense is one. That's not good. So I don't think she'd be able to win here. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Doesn't have a good chance. I wonder if you can like group up your survivors. I don't know how it works. Or both attack at the same time. Yeah, who Something knows? I'm not entirely sure how it works. All right, so let's go ahead and have this. Uh, do we want... No, we don't really need plastic. We can't go in there without bandits. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's bandits there. So she's scouting here more and more bandits. bandits. It's bandit hideout. Okay. Bandits everywhere, guys. I feel like that's going to be a problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. Probably, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and start getting these ones uh, removed here. Going to rouse everyone in the middle of the night. Like, yep. Excuse us. I just want to get this done, so. You remember that apartment we lived in that did, like, construction in the middle of the night? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember Jinx, unfortunately. All right, so let's get that going there, and then we're going to want to get another shanty uh, right next to it, I suppose. Or we could do leave a little space here. Like right there. So we can put a road there. I, you know what? We should probably put the road first. Just in case it doesn't let me do it. And then put the, uh, oops. The shanty. The shanty. Put it like right there. Ta -da. All right, so a lot of colonists are homeless. We need to put another shanty over here now. Now that we have all those built. And. Those do take up a lot of space. Yeah, they do. And they only let like three more people. Oh, we can't build it there. What's in the way? Objects are blocking. What? Whatever's right here, the rocks. The tree? Damn it. We could build oh. it over top of the road. I think it's like dipping into the the toxic. Yeah, so we'll have to build it over top of the road, unfortunately, guys. Oh, well. They can still go through there. It's fine. So we'll want to delete the road that's here. Oh, that's not how you do it. There we go. All right, so they should be building the road along here as well, though I'm not really seeing it there anymore. I hope it didn't get deleted. You built it on the other side. Oh, right here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, that's right. That's the tent. Mm -hmm. My bad, guys. All right, so we need to pick what we want here, and we're going to put potatoes there. Taters. Taters. I want some taters. Oh, Joshua is now an adult, so they grow up pretty quick. Okay. And he's lazy. Oh, no. Yeah, because he didn't have to do anything as a child. So now he doesn't want to do anything. Got another that wandering research? merchant. Big van obviously brimming with miscellaneous items and goods waits you Boy, at the gate. Urge you might be willing to partake on a bit of bartering. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, we can't barter any of those things or any of these things. God dang it. We just don't have the, the excess resources. It's too guys. expensive. Uh-huh. We are not doing that well. All right, so the recycler is going to have to move over here. Start taking care of her. Where is that? Oh, that's metal. I thought we had another place to put it. Oh, it's way over here. Ooh, that's far. Oh, Charlotte is injured. What okay. did you do, Charlotte? Oh, she's over here. No, I'm just removing oh. one of those. All right, so what we're going to want to do is, yeah, I don't know what she was doing, how she injured herself. Huh? Huh? I know she works at the sawmill, so oh, could yeah. get injured doing that, I she guess. probably broke her damn back. Let's put another worker here uh, in the sawmill. Somebody go help Charlotte out. Yeah, she could use assistance. 
Of course, the lazy guy's just out there sprinkling seeds. <laughs> I just don't think I want to work. I wonder if she can take this situation on. All right, it's not a bandit camp, so yeah. Yeah. Well, let's go here first, because we're already here. Let's see what's located there. Yeah, it looks like there's going to be bandits oh, all out in this further. Geez. Yeah. All right, you let's get go. one layer and one layer only. I wonder if the bandits come out of their spots, like if they'll chase after you. I don't know. Uh, they do look like they, they're capable of doing that because he's like a character on the map. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if he is able to, and I think they can attack your town too. Oh no. Though I'm not seeing anything up here for like weapons though. True. But there is a defensive thing, so. I don't know why this gate is supposed to be effective. They can just walk around it. I guess <laughs> climb over it, through shouldn't it. Shouldn't think There's too hard about it. Not actually a gate there. I'm just trying to get all these oh, shanties built. Low on food. Really? What happened? All the new people we brought in. I guess we we're not producing enough food. Apparently. Oh no. All right. Well, let's go ahead and have uh, another person. We'll have. Uh, oops. I'm trying to click on him. We'll have Joseph. Uh, Everyone's Joseph. He has a hook for a hand. Oh, <laughs> okay. well, that's cool. He's a green thumb. So this is like somebody who would want to have as a farmer. He has a scythe on his hand, not a hook. <laughs> uh huh? That's why he's good at farming, because he has a, a oh, scythe. Oh, does he? <laughs> scythe arm. Did it say that? No. Oh, okay. I'm just putting two and two together. I wonder if you could... Nah, I guess you wouldn't be able to my... Yeah, never mind. Like game it to yeah, try to get. Yeah, you could hear, like, because I think they, they do it in order or something like that. Mm -hmm. So so if you took him out. Yeah, if you, like, took, took him out else and out. then took somebody out here. He's harvesting right now, though. So it took her out and then put her over there. Nope. Uh, it's just like, oh, that okay. That's, that's yeah. where he goes there. Okay, whatever. Yeah, you can't really game it. So I hope they do allow you to pick who goes there. Oh, yes, we need food. And name people, please. <laughs> yes, naming people would Everyone be nice. Everyone is Joseph. I mean, I guess it'll be kind of biblical. Like Joseph, son of Joseph, son of Joseph. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those berries over there. We'll have them go over there. I'll pick them berries up. There's wild boars. Where are the boars? Uh, I see another majestic there's, oh, deer. There's a boar. Yeah, there's one right there. I think we're far enough away. Unless he comes and chases our ass down. The boars will be like, those are my berries. So I think we're going to need one more shanty, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and get that building. Um, do we have roads? We do have a road going right there. So let me go and fix the road situation first. So we'll have... We're not using like all of our space, but that's fine, guys. I'm trying to see where the front of this thing is. Order. So we want to delete that one. Okay. Looking nice. Mm-hmm. And then just get this road going down here. Alright, and then we're just gonna get rid of this tent here. And build another shanty right there. Oh man. I don't think these shanties are gonna do it. They're large. They're we don't large. need everyone fucking, do we? <laughs> Not everyone can find a mate. <laughs> yeah, we might need to do something like a larger. Yeah. Cause... Yeah, it's getting well, like, I mean, put I guess it up that's here. Nine that those shanties will take. Yeah, care of. they'll take care of nine, and we'll have two colonists that don't have a home. So we could always just do like one more shanty There's right here. There's a concrete here. deposit that was depleted. Oh, okay, let me take a look. See if we still have. Okay, so we actually don't have anything else being gathered. So let's go ahead and move this to get us. Uh, we should really focus on concrete, I guess, because we have the other thing getting us wood. All right, so we'll go here, grab that up. Although this one looks a little bit closer. Hopefully they don't step. They will. Like ooh, the radiation splashing and gooey puddles. Hunting opportunity. Go for a hunt. And they found berries. Whoa. That's it. Master hunters. <laughs> I think there was. I think the event has said that they didn't find any food. Well, stop whining about not having a house and come build your damn house, man. <laughs> I know they're over there socializing and shit. Because the shanty needs the uh, concrete. Uh -oh. oh, does this need to? Nope. Okay. I was gonna say, does that have a work area? It does not have a work area. 
They just store stuff there. It's a pretty cool the looking food though. Out as soon as they can get it. Well, the food is right here. I, I think we really don't have any food, even though it says we have 21 food. I yeah, I think it's all over here. Will make the food that we find oh, shit, stretch further. This. Maybe that would probably be a good idea to get that though, with them cooking or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it'd be a good idea to get it. Because we just got people running around grabbing shit out of boxes. There's no regulation. Yeah, we should probably get that with our our science points. Oh, medical supplies. Yeah, medical supplies. We're pretty good on medical Dr. supplies. Doctor Bandits. <laughs> I guess we'll have them scout here next. I always joke that I'm gonna be an apocalypse doctor. If you didn't know, Jinx is a pharmacy tech. I am a senior pharmacy tech. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, so which which deposits were depleted? It's not that one. Uh, whatever was here oh, was depleted. Yeah, those okay. couple of bricks. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and get the bricks over here. Oh, that's gonna take some time. All right. So, how many more people do we have that are homeless? Just one person. Just one. Colonist Sophia is homeless. It's personal. Oh, this was depleted as well. So oh, we're gonna have to move this work area. Oh, wow. To way up there. Oh. Yeah, I don't think there's anything Good luck, else. friends. Yeah, he's gotta go up there all by himself. Though we don't actually need plastic right now. We're doing pretty good on plastic. Okay. We could always just like tell him yeah, not to we'll work just no take more. Yeah, we'll take him out and be like, go do something else. Yeah, have him do uh, something else. Like, do we have, we do have two trappers. Uh, we could get the fisher thing going, I suppose. You want to do the fisher one? Sure. Since we're having food problems. Joshua seems like a fisherman. All right, so we want to get this wherever it'll let us get yeah, it. Yeah, I think it's got to be on the sandy shore with like part of it in the water. We had a spot right here where it would work. There we yeah, go. Right there. Uh, but there's radiation right in the front. Oh. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Right there. That works. Okay. All right. Nice. Awesome. That's where we we'll build that. Get to. Fish. We have a lot of space here to build as well. We're gonna put the tool thing there. Uh, the tool. I guess we can get that going if we wanted to. So maybe we could trade some tools. Uh, let's get the tool shop. Although it might not fit right here. Ah. Oh, it's so close. Damn it. Damn it. On it the other sucks. Side, I guess. Or we I could just uh, move that, like destroy it and build a new one. That's what we're gonna do, guys. I want the tool shed thing there. The water and hole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get the tool shop here. That was where Joshua and Joshua meant to have their their nightly meetings. Mm-hmm. They'll be alright, Jinx. All right, so let's put the water and hole right next to it now. And I can't see, like, is there a particular direction you want it? Like right here, maybe? Looks pretty good. Yeah. Could also put it in the back here. Make them have to go to the back to get their their water. For a bit of privacy. Mm-hmm. In case you need to wash your groin. Don't. No. No, <laughs> Jinx. If you need to wash your groin, you get the water and you bring it into your, oh, your hut. Is, and then you wash your is groin. Is that the polite thing to do? Yeah. God damn, Jinx. Uh, so you think we should get a tenement, a tenement for any future see people? see how big it is. It's fairly large. But we could just put it like up here. <laughs> just, <laughs> for all you degenerates who can't find a spouse. Or you could put it up here, I guess. And stop building shanties over this way. Yeah, we could do that. I kind of like the idea I of like, like these the people idea. being on their own. It's up the here. industrial area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but when they have the radiation <laughs> to their back. Yeah, I suppose that works. I mean, they're not making babies anyway. So. Yeah. I'll put it right here. <laughs> <laughs> if you reach the tenement, you've gone too you've far. You've gone too far. <laughs> All right, so we now have fishers. So you don't set the zone that they fish in. They just do it automatically. You can even see the little fish swimming Aww, around. the little fishies. Does he need a road? We could give him a road, yeah. Uh... We got any oh, here. rabbit season. We give them permission to go. And they got one venison. Looks like probably another sickly rabbit. I say that they're terrible at their jobs, but I can't imagine it would be very easy catching rabbits. So yeah, how do you do this? Um, yeah, it seems like there's got to be some way to like improve their abilities or something. Mm -hmm. Some way we don't know about. 
Let's get her going that way. And what what she find? Clothes. But it's a little bit dangerous. Dangerous. Alright, and then this character here, we'll go ahead and scout out that area before she starts coming she's back. She's all home. up in that bandits zone. Mm -hmm. She don't give a shit. Ooh, more she's research. Like, just a lonely lady here, <laughs> crossing <laughs> through your lands. <laughs> don't mind me. Uh, that's how we do, guys. Uh, so I guess we can go and get that other research done. Uh, we're we're gonna have the communal eating. I was gonna research that. Uh, so we need a logging camp and a cookhouse now. So let's go ahead and get those. We'll get the uh, cookhouse going. Pair of pears, nice. warm meals. It uses corn to make it. So corn and firewood. And I think the cookhouse should be in the middle here somewhere. Okay, yeah. Like right here. It doesn't fit perfectly, but, you know. I mean, you could leave a little bit of space on or one side here. Or we could put the road, like, across and then put it on there and then have, like, a, a little secret meeting place in the middle. <laughs> A secret meeting place. Yeah. Where are people gonna go to conspire? Well, because this could, this one could just meet up with this road right here. Well, I guess if you want to do it that way. I'm just trying to make the <laughs> most use of our space. Uh, we could also put it right here, but I think that leaves it doesn't leave as much space over there. Like that. Yeah, we can do it like that. And then just put the road, have the road connect to it right there. Ta-da. Oops. Sophia's still homeless. I'm like we're working on it, Sophia. All right, they just need to get all these built, which I think the main thing limiting them is well, it's, it's both the planks and the concrete apparently. We need more food. Mm -hmm. Whoever this is down here is out here talking to himself. How, how are we doing on the berries, man? Well, I still collect them, but they're kind of far away. All right, well. We might need to build more farms, guys. Yeah. They might be having yeah, having some food shortages. Yeah, this is pretty bad, actually. The berries are depleted as well. A uh, little bit more there. A few more. Not much. Yeah, they're really focusing on gathering the berries because, yeah, we are lacking food, guys. We do have that area that's um, scavengeable. The, next food, to the our jerky? House. Yeah. yeah, we can get that. The specialists are ready now. So what we could do is have her go get the uh yeah get the jerky although she needs to come back home oh, okay so what we'll do is yeah let's have her scout here and there's More just bandits. There's bandits everywhere guys surprise does that mean we're gonna turn into bandits yes jinx isn't that what we are right now like how did we even get to this area anyway without getting by the bandits Okie dokie. Yes, well, you can see, you can sneak by them pretty easily, Jinx. Yeah. I guess they got a pretty good setup. Mm hmm. Alright. Maybe they're not bandits at all. I haven't seen them bandito anybody. The tool shop has been constructed. I don't have any metal, though. Uh, do we, are we still gathering metal? Yeah, we're still gathering metal, but they're almost done with that one. So he's going to have to move further away as oh, well. Shit. And we have to keep getting metal. Do you choose where the trapper hunts, or do they just do the thing? Uh, they just do the thing, yeah. He's producing two f oh, two meat right okay. now. Because we have two of them. I think if he took one out, it would only produce. Oh. Hmm. Weird. You'd think that would, maybe it speeds this oh, up? Oh, I bet it does. I don't know, it seems the same. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really seem like it's producing anymore. It seems like it's going faster with just one guy. <laughs> A little bit. It's hard to say. Uh, specialist ready, by the way. Go ahead and have her come on back. We'll just have her go straight over here. Yeah, she's going to go get the food. Oh, that's not working. Okay, you can't have You can't pre-plan it, apparently. All right, so let's have her scout out. I guess we'll have her go around this way. Bandits food. everywhere. Good God, man. It's a dangerous land. I got an event. Abandoned property. One of the colonists rushes towards you. He says that someone spotted an abandoned wagon not too far from here. It's covered with the tarp, so they couldn't tell what's inside. There are footprints around it, but no one could tell where they led. The colonists want to go search the wagon in case there's something valuable in it. We can search the wagon, but arm the colonist. 
or just search the wagon. If you were close enough to see that there were footprints around it, then you should have just went and looked anyway. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll arm them because I feel like there's going to be something that happens. A small group of colonists uh, ventures out. It doesn't take much for them to return. They found plenty of supplies as well as two dead bodies. Looked like sickness caught both of them, and they weren't strong enough to go on any longer. All right, so we got six tools, so it would actually end up being beneficial to us in the clothes and the when it comes to clothes and and food. Or excuse me, tools. Do we need the doctor working? Uh, no. We can get her back out there, gathering shit for us. Uh, it looks like the berries are depleted as well. God dang berries. Fucking berries, man. Where are the berries? There's plenty of berries Ooh. over this way, though. Uh, there's still that one, too. I guess we'll have her <laughs> gather their radiated berries. Very carefully. Don't get irradiated, please. How are these guys doing on collecting? Oh, they got a lot of... Oh, they almost, oh, they got, almost it got it done. Yeah. How do you get concrete after? It looks like you can only find it out there. Oh shit. Oh. Okay. So it's either in the world map or finding it out out on the, this map somewhere. We can't make it. I don't we think so. Do some research. I don't think so. Where geez. does concrete come from? Yeah, maybe you could research How it. How is it made? All right. So there's that location right there. There's. I think we'll go to this. This one's pretty far, though, man. I guess we'll do this one because we'll get the wood as well. So we'll have him do that. But yeah, it looks oh, like that this is going to be the end of the episode, guys. Uh, we still need to get that other building that we got. What the hell was that? Oh, for the... the oh, the, the firewood. Place. Firewood. Where is that at? A logging camp. Yes. We should have done that. Why is everywhere so big? <laughs> So, the sawmill turns it into planks. They cut down trees and turn it into planks. And this one cuts them down and turns it into firewood. So we're going to want it in the same area. Uh, so the wood district. This is the wood district, yes. So we could just put it, like, right here. No, you can't. You can't? No. Oh, no. Uneven terrain. Hmm. Cragly. And I guess we can, like... Yeah, you can start bringing it in, then. Oh, we could have it down here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the furthest that we can put it there. Mm-hmm. And then just get some roads. And yeah, this is this is the last thing we're gonna be doing, guys, before we end the episode here. I will be connecting these two, but I gotta figure out what we're gonna place right there first before we try and build roads there. And then we could build like the road that goes over here, but again, I need to see what we're doing here. Uh, but yeah, that is actually going to be the end of this second episode. Uh, we are now 13 days, almost two weeks in. Colony's looking all right. Um, we really need to get through this damn tech tree, though, man. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to see what this looks like. The uh, cookhouse. And will you be able to see them inside? Will, uh, or are they being? Yeah. Inside? Are they going to be inside it, and you're not going to be able to see them? Uh, I don't know. Curious to see what that looks like. But again, we won't be able to do anything. Uh, with it until we get the, the firewood produced. I should have uh, already had that built. Let's actually prioritize that so they can start getting some firewood constructed for us. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Hope to see you on the next episode. And thanks for watching, guys.